What's up guys, it's Frankie. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. I'm sorry these last couple days have been really, really bad for me as a human being, let alone the last week. So let me just try to ease into this shit one more time. Um, so just a little background as to what's been happening in my life. I recently just got hired at Chipotle, so I'm working there now. I work at a dog daycare, so that I, I like that more. I get paid more, and I'm with dogs, and I don't have to deal with people. But, yeah. Uh, I've been playing the new Call of Duty a lot. I think I go 17 and 11 on this map. I'm not good at the new Call of Duty. It doesn't fit my, you know, pace of play. Um, I think the maps are a little bit too big. Even though I do like Hackney Yards and Gunrunner, I do like those maps a lot. All the other ones could eat shit and die. But um, I do like the new Call of Duty. I just think they need to revamp the maps a little bit. And they will in the new update. And I'm excited for that. Anyway, guys, let's dive into this fucking video. So if you guys don't know, I got a ticket back in May. I got a speeding ticket going uh, 50 and a 30. So instead of fucking fi doing the paying off the ticket like a normal goddamn person, going to work, working a double, earn a few extra bucks to pay off this ticket, I decide to go straight into drug dealing. This would be my first time ever drug dealing, and I'd be selling edibles for about $15, $10 if I know the person. So, and uh, they were big. They were big as fuck, and they hit good. Um, so I'm out here, and I'm selling edibles in my town, a couple towns over, here, there, here, there. And where this story generally takes place is across the street. So across the street, I'm I'm at McDonald's right now. I'm getting a couple of McChickens. It's about 10 o'clock at night. I was making good money that day. Get a couple of McChickens. I don't like eating the McChickens inside the McDonald's because of this weird old guy that drinks coffee and stares at you is always in there doing his taxes. And I don't like eating it in the parking lot because of fucking... Uh, the, a lot of people like to be hectic in the McDonald's parking lot any day of the fucking week. Like last week, they were just lighting off firecrackers and shit. So I didn't really want to deal with that. I didn't want to be eating my McChicken and having, you know, firecrackers going off in my ears. So I go across the street and I pull into this little strip mall with um, a little meat market, a gym shop, and an Ace Hardware and a Harris Bank. I pull in there. It's about 10 o'clock at night, like I said, and all the establishments are closed. And I'm just sitting in there eating my McChicken, 10 o'clock at night, only car in the lot, which was probably a dead giveaway as to why the fuck I was there. And uh, I'm eating my McChicken, and I see a squad car. Police in my area are awesome. They're really nice. They let you off with warnings and shit. The towns, you know, um, that border us, their their cops are pretty much just dickheads and will flag you down for anything. I got a burp. <coughs> okay, I'm sorry. And those cops in the other towns are just like dickheads. And the, I get pulled over, or I don't get pulled over. The car, cop car pulls up next to mine. He gets out of the car. He flashes the flashlight in the window. He flashes it in the back and tells me to roll down my window. All right, officer, I'll do that. Roll down the window. He's a nice young guy. He's understanding. He's like, what the fuck are you doing here? And I'm like, officer, officer. I tell him about the McDonald's and how I don't want to deal with all the fucking assholes that are all over there. And he totally understands me. I'm not sweating because of the drugs I had in my car. I was sweating because I had a humongous ass fucking uh, crack in my windshield at the time that I had left there for about, I don't know, a year and a half. So he's looking in the back, he's looking in the front, he already flashes flashlight everywhere. He finally asks me to get my license and registration. And at this time, I get hot. Because in my glove compartment, I totally forgot was where I kept my edibles. Many of you guys would be like, Frank, you fucking idiot. Why didn't you put it in the middle console? Because, fun fact, I can't open my middle console. I lost the key to the middle console, and it's locked shut forever. So whatever's locked in there, I can't get out. So a little fun fact about my car. Anyway, I open up my glove compartment, and this was kind of like just a fucking jaw-dropping, heart-stopping moment. Because I was trying to, like, block the cop's view from my glove compartment box just to get the paperwork. But when I opened it, there was no there was, there was no uh, pot brownies in there. I'm like, oh my god. Then I remember, bro, I remember before I pulled into McDonald's, I took the pot brownies and I threw them in the back, put a blanket over them. Because I had to get my wallet out of my glove compartment to pay for my McChickens. So I'm like, oh my god, Frankie, you might have just saved yourself a couple extra hundred dollars. So, yeah, the pot brownies were in the back seat underneath a blanket. Cop, you know, flashes flashlight back there. Didn't see him because there was a fucking blanket over the top of him. And, uh, yeah, he took my uh, paperwork. He went back to his car. Uh, I'm sitting there. I'm just twiddling my thumbs. And I'm like, wow, I'm actually a fucking genius. 
Um, not that I knew I was going to get like pulled over and that's why I did it. That was just out of sheer luck that I did that before I, uh, the cop pulled up next to me. Uh, he pulls up to my car again. He hands me my paperwork, tells me you should probably get out of here. It's getting kind of late. I couldn't agree more. I was tired that night. And, um, yeah, he said something about the crack in my windshield and I say, you know, officer, I'm working on it. Um, I'll get it fixed by next week. And he says, okay, just try to get it done as soon as possible. And I say, you got it. And I go home that night feeling like the most successful human being because I got off with no warning, no ticket, and literally just a short conversation with the policeman. So, um, yeah, really good experience with the cop. Nothing bad happened. I'm sorry if you were kind of hoping for some, for Frankie to go to fucking jail and get a cock meat sandwich in his eye. Didn't happen this time. But, uh, yeah, guys, thank you for tuning in to the uh, channel again. I can't fucking talk tonight. And uh, I'm currently in the process of getting a new phone. My new phone went down the shitter. I believe the internal antenna in it is broken. So I have to get a new phone. So if you guys are DMing me, snapping me, I'm sorry. Can't open them right now. But uh, I will be able to soon. Uh, like I said, all my social media plugs will be in the description down below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Peace out. I got demons in my brain. They want me to let it go. They want me to let it go. Bust down glass all in the